I'd like to show you a couple of examples of how to use the column selection shortcut keys to make formatting and uh, editing in the Visual Studio 2008 source code editor a lot more productive. So what I've got here is a uh, two-dimensional array that I've declared as well as initialized. The problem here is that I don't like the formatting of the initialization and what I really want is I want the initialization to look more something like what you see in the comments here. What typically most developers do today is they put their cursor at the end of the declaration and they start uh, pressing the delete key. Uh, unfortunately this can take a while, at least a couple of minutes and it's tedious as well. So uh, let me go ahead and undo that and show you how you can use the column selection shortcuts to make it a lot easier. So I'm holding down the Alt plus Shift uh, key and uh, what I can do is I can use the arrow keys to extend that selection to the right, uh, down, to the left, or up. So what I want to do here is I want to, uh, let's say, select the entire uh, first column, then extend that selection to the right. Once I've done that, uh, I'm going to cut the selection and paste it at the end of my declaration. And the next step is I want to do a similar thing with the um, uh, inner, initial, inner initialization. So, but and instead of using the delete key again, I'm going to use the column selection shortcuts to do that. So, holding down Alt plus Shift, I'm going to extend that selection to the right, then extend it down. Then I'm going to cut that and then paste it um, at the opening a brace then I'm going to delete that empty line. So as you can see, with a few uh, key strokes, I went from the previous formatting to exactly what I wanted. Um, in the second example, I'd like to show you how to use the column selection to remove comments from a section of your code. So here I've got a commented out uh, piece of my code and I'd like to remove the comment. What most developers do is they use either the backspace or the delete key to start removing the comments. Uh, but using the column selection shortcut key, let me show you how that exercise is a lot easier now. So uh, here I'm holding down the Alt plus Shift key. I'm going to extend to the right and I'm going to extend down and press the delete key. And as you can see, the comments uh, now have been removed. 